All right, thanks for staying with us. World Kidney Day was first celebrated in 2006. Are your kidneys okay? There's um, great need to educate the world about the importance of kidney health and reduce the impact of kidney disease and other health conditions associated with them. You know, all of these things about kidney failure, kidney disease, yeah. that, sometimes it's kind of like scary. <laughs> These are organs that you, do not, you don't see every day, but yeah. they are working for you. It yeah. is when they pack up, they now realize. But I think um, for anything that, it, that has to do with in, internal, the best thing to just do is go on your routine health exactly. check. Exactly. A lot of people don't check their health mm -hmm. until maybe it's it too late. It's not to feel yeah. pain or symptoms. It's not to feel pain and all of that. Kidney is yeah. one thing that is completely avoidable. Mm -hmm. Some people can live with just one. I know a, wo a woman that donated her kidney to her sister mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, she's, she's still alive till yeah. now, even yeah. though the sister eventually passed. Oh, but my. I mean, so people can actually survive yeah. on one my, kidney. My best friend had kidney stones, so she had to do some surgeries and it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't funny. It mm -hmm. wasn't funny. So most of the time, and the issue we normally have here is um, when you misdiagnose people, you're going through, you know, different symptoms and nobody's able to tell you what is wrong. Mm. So it depends, healthcare really needs you understand? a lot of So the most important thing is just take note mm. of your body, understand your body very well, so that when little symptoms are showing, you don't have to wait for the kidney to fail. Absolutely. You, you know, get yeah. treatment. Absolutely. Jella, quickly, let me come. You want to say something? Yeah. Laguna Hospital is doing a free test, free yes. kidney test tomorrow. Oh, nice. At Keja, Ikoyi, and VI. I think between 8 a.m. and 10 and 10 a.m. Awesome. Please. So awesome. yeah, if Please. you're around those areas, you can just take so, the opportunity. Ikoyi and Victoria Island. Okay, Ikeja, Ikoyi and Victoria Island. So if you're around the, the area, if you've not checked, you know, your kidney, please go and check. Yeah. Some things, some death are actually avoidable. So okay. let's just, you know, do the right thing. Mm. Um, Diola, let me come to you quickly. Let's just run through our news. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, so... Um why we postponed the governorship state assembly election by INEC, um, and it says that um, having been, um, for instance, the beavers can only be activated on specific date and time for an election. Having been used for the presidential and national assembly elections on 25th, it is necessary to reconfigure the beavers for activation on the date of the governorship and state assembly elections. I mean, that's one of the reasons that they gave for why they had to postpone the election. I don't know. We'll come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> that's our story for today, so oh, we'll God. come back to that. Let me come to you, Jennifer, quickly. <laughs> A uh, train rammed into government um, staff bus, injuring many in Lagos. So today, um, a lot of people sustained injury, and we had um, some casualties. Some people also died. Um, so basically, the, um, the bus driver was trying to pass through the train tracks, and the magnet on the rails got stuck, and so he could not move, and then the train rammed into him. And I think right now, because we have about, I think, four... Well, six people, six people, last I checked, six people had already died. And we had um, about 20-something as seriously injured. Why 40-something were uh, probably minor injuries. But at the end of the day, there are so many questions because I really do not understand why you would see an incoming train and you're trying to pass. So a lot of people who witnessed this said that um, he, was trying to, um, he was trying to cross and cut traffic. So he just... So that's why like like he, could, he could actually beat <sighs> the train. I'm um, holding <laughs> myself no because if, they, if I talk now, they say I'm anti APC. Oh, God. Two things that I flagged in this story. Mm -hmm. First of all, is a government staff boss. Staff boss. Do you understand? <laughs> a government staff boss. Like how? Crossing a rail line. Okay, help me out. <laughs> Let me not talk because if I talk now, they'll say. <laughs> so first thing, um, it's, uh, it's an opportunity to unify Lagosians and Nigerians. So um, condolences to families that lost loved ones. Um, for those in hospitals recuperating, we wish them a speedy recovery. Um, I think, you know, uh, for many of us, looking at the tragedy that happened this morning, uh, there's a lot of blames to go around, right? From, you know, reckless, you know, driving, uh, driving for, to the driver to perhaps the train authority not having barricades if a train is coming have traffic lights it deters someone from crossing the rails and equally uh, emergency stop for trains so are we simply saying lagos is not ready for 
a mature train system. Uh, those are some of the things we need to look at. Um, obviously, the government has been touting the new blue line that's coming, where we're hoping we can decongest traffic, we can, you know, have alternate means of transport. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, it gives people another feeling like, wow, just when I thought we should be asking for more railway options for transportation, tragedies like this are things we ought to not even have as part of our conversations. How many Nigerians wake up to enter trains in a day for a bus to get hit by a train? I mean, the whole BRT, BRT bus. not even that. 0.0001% of the population does not use trains. Do not use trains mm -hmm. to move every day. Mm -hmm. But then you can have a train run into a bus. It just doesn't make sense. It's like getting hit by lightning mm. on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon. You know, so what is even really worrisome for me, and I see this all the time, and I want to say to government officials, right, they are the most culpable when it comes to breaking of the laws. You know that it was illegal for you to cross that, you that, that at that time, right? But you chose to. Now putting a lot of lives at risk. You know, so, I mean, this thing is so painful. Is. Because this was a completely avoidable death. Yeah. All the people that were avoidable. injured and all of those things, it was completely avoidable. And now the governor now comes out to say that he's suspending campaigns and he declares the flag flown at half-mast and all of that. These are things, you know why I say we're in interesting times? These are things that you would never have seen when, if this was not an election year, mm -hmm. you would not have seen things like this happening, yeah. where a governor would immediately go to the hospital, go and check the victims of, um, that are being um, treated at the hospital. We saw videos of them putting mattresses on the floor at the, the Lagos State University teaching hospitals, you know, trying to give them drips, trying to treat them outside, right? All of these things, it's just for me, it's actually, even though they think it is like, you know, oh, they want to show that the government is working, it actually puts me completely off. It Let just, me add to yeah. that. Let me add to that. Now, talking about the government, people said they called emergency unit services and none of them could make it down to the site. Imagine. None of them. They got nothing. Citizens had to help yeah. the injured by themselves. Yeah. So what they are came. we saying? How is, the, how, is, how is the state working if that is the situation of things? If we should put a call, if there's an emergency, and we put a call to the services in charge of that, under 20 minutes, you should be there. Less than 20, 20 minutes. minutes. There's, there's, minutes there's, there's fire service very close you to... You should be there. You know, so for me, I just feel like sometimes happen. we actually do celebrate mediocrity in this country. And it's not even, even unique to Lagos sense. State. It is across board. Mm -hmm. We celebrate mediocrity. That somebody is... Because That's what you're so, supposed to do. Do you understand? It, it, it makes no sense to me. Well, Laura, let me take your story. Hmm. See, I'm trying to hold myself to the <laughs> cause. It's in there. Um, so the headline of my story is um, the Army Rescues Cross River Commissioner from Kidnappers. Um, it's been said that Mrs. Nja was kidnapped on the 1st of February in the um, Mayan Avenue area in, in South, Cal um, South of Calabar State. Uh, um, Cross River State, sorry, in Calabar. And thank God, thankfully, the army has been able to rescue her, and we're very happy that she's actually in safe hands. And we're actually passing a message now to the general public to ensure that, you know, they pay attention to, you know, kidnappers and anything that is happening, and they should just make sure that they're able to pass, you know, the inf information to authorities to ensure that civilians are actually, you know, safe. So we're actually just glad that, you know, this, that she's, okay, she so came Okay, so I'll the mention topic. my story, then we'll go on a break, because I want us to really go into the main conversation for today. Mm -hmm. The federal court, um, federal high court, and it's good that we have a Labour Party person here. In Abuja dismissed um, the suit filed by Labour Party to compel INEC to adapt electronic means of transmitting the 2023 general um, elections. And the commission, um, according to what the judge had said, one, uh, I, I can't pull out his name now. He says that the commission is at liberty to prescribe or choose the manner in which the, um, the election results shall be transmitted. Mm -hmm. Was that what the Electoral Act said? Please, I can help me out. Because again, let me repeat to INEC that the amount of patronage, because I'll call it patronage, that they got with voters coming out to vote and people excited to go and get their PVCs. We had a lot of first-time voters, people that were indifferent before a lot of people brought out their cards, was because of the assurance yeah. of the Electoral Act that was revealed that said there would be, um, what's it called, um, transmission of results at the polling unit, or, um, electronic transmission of results. So you cannot come out now and tell, that's why it's lawyer work eh, they had me to do. So you know, how can you say that it's subject to the, to, to the INEX, um, what's it called? It's subject to their interpretation. No, 
that's not what the law says. It says you were supposed to transmit at the polling unit. So help me out here. So I think we're in an era of what I call acute judicial rascality. So you have judges who sit down, wake up certain days of the week, and interpret the law you know, to whatever agenda suits them. And I think if you go back to even the Oshima elections where we first tested the beavers and you know, the use of electronic you know, results, uh, equally the lawsuit that was filed by the um, again incumbent who lost basically took us three steps back with saying the way the beavers you know took um, accredited voters documenting at the start of elections and the end was enough reason for them to upturn the results so they're interpreting the law using very silly technical uh, you know, what I call backdoors with giving any party, again, I'm not going to accuse judges of being corrupt, but I, it just smells of rotten fish. And I say this because what they've done now is they're reducing the confidence Nigerians, especially a lot of first-time voters, like you said, who've come out en masse, gotten PVCs. The average 18-year-old Nigerian did not know where a polling booth was located in their neighborhood. 2023, they're saying, no, we're going to be politically literate. We're going to participate. We're not going to protest. We're not going to do all these things. They accuse young people of things. We so use our, 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 our PVCs to, 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 to speak. Definitely. Yeah. 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 So when you see the courts take these types of actions, it only asks you, okay, if the court was the last refuge of hope for the common man, what else? Hmm. On that note, let's take a break because we want to discuss this postponement of the elections. Stay with us. We'll be right back.